In this video, Mastering S3 on Cloud Shell, Bucket Creation, File Management and Deletion, we will be doing a bunch of tasks using the AWS S3 CLI commands on Cloud Shell. We will be performing this lab into Cloud Sandbox environment of WizLabs. To access that, just log into your WizLabs account and go to Platform. Inside that, click on Cloud Sandboxes and you can click on Get Started and select the AWS Sandbox. Click on Start AWS Sandbox and this will give you a ready-made page also explaining what are the AWS services that you are allowed to access. Okay, I'll just select the time frame. Uh, for this lab, I need not more than one hour, so I'll go with one hour and click on Create Sandbox Environment. Just acknowledge these terms and conditions and click on Start Sandbox. This will take around 30 seconds uh, for the environment to be ready. This is basically trying to provision a fresh AWS account for you. Just click on open console and a auto populated 12 digit account ID will be present here. Copy the username and paste it in the username section and also copy the password and put it into the password section. After you do that, just press enter. This will give you a fresh AWS account ready met and you will see a bunch of errors just ignore them and close this icon and now if you see here uh, to access the cloud shell just click on the cloud shell this will open the cloud shell but in the same tab so what we need to do is to open into a new tab so just click on this icon to open in a new browser tab this will take some time again uh, for it to be ready and just simply uh, ignore this by checking on do not show again and close and also if you might know a cloud shell has recently been migrated to amazon linux uh, 2023 in this region so just click on don't show this message again okay now the environment is ready one of, one, of, one more thing that i will do here is just go to preferences uh, setting preferences and select the font size as medium and confirm this check now if you see here, you can go ahead and type ls, basically list all the files and this is a complete empty sandbox uh, that is given to you by AWS. Okay, The permissions are pretty much same as what you have for the IEM user which you have logged in. Okay, great. So now uh, let's try to create one file and we will create the file using the touch command which will create an empty file. So let's call this as a demo.txt. The file has been created and let's add some content to it. So I will say my name is Islabs and add this file content into demo.txt. Enter this and press ls. You will be able to see the file name here demo.txt and if I do cat uh, demo.txt I will be able to see the contents of this file. My name is Vizlabs. So let's clear this part. Okay. Now the next thing that we will be doing is creating a new S3 bucket. So if I go ahead uh, and search for the S3 service and select the feature called bucket, open it in a new tab. If you see here, uh, there is no S3 bucket uh, currently present in this region. There is no general purpose. Uh, buckets being created here okay let's clear it again cool so there is no bucket uh, being created here and i will not use the console to create a bucket rather i will create a bucket using a cli uh, that is on cloud shell the browser based cli by aws so the command to create the bucket is s3 aws s3 api create bucket and then put the bucket name followed by region name so let's call this as vizlabs demo followed by some random number maybe just 987 and then the region name so region name can be us east one okay so if you see here one location is now populated vizlab demo 987 and let's switch back to s3 bucket console and just refresh this page you will be able to see one of the general purpose bucket here okay this bucket is now being created and this is a completely empty bucket 
so let's go ahead and try to upload this file to upload that you can just type aws s3 cp then followed by the file name which is demo.txt and upload it on this bucket so just copy the bucket name uh, to specify the bucket path okay something else is being copied just ignore that part let's retype so just copy this part control c and control v okay now this is done and let's enter so now the upload has been completed if i go ahead and refresh the objects i will be able to see one of the object called demo.txt okay now the next thing that we will do is we will go ahead and enable the versioning so to enable the versioning you can go ahead and copy the command and make sure when you are pasting the command the command will be given to you in the description so make sure while you are uh, trying to put this command just replace your bucket name okay so the bucket name that i have got is vizlabs demo 987 okay just copy this part and paste it here and enter so now versioning should be enabled you can go ahead and check go to properties and if you see here the versioning is now enabled you can if you are not able to see the updated information just simply click on the refresh button okay so versioning is now being enabled for this bucket okay the next part is uh, we will be uh, trying to delete the bucket okay so now before you delete the bucket you need to delete the objects so as you might know as the versioning is already being enabled first we need to delete the objects so let's go ahead and delete the object to delete the object you can just simply type delete and click on delete object but if you see here uh, click on show version it will it has not deleted this object this is present as a delete marker so if you want to really delete them just select them and click on delete okay after you click on show version select both the versions that is delete marker and the text file and click on delete and if you see here notice this part uh, the option that is asking me to delete is called permanently delete so just copy that complete text or maybe you can type it manually and then click on delete object so if you see here uh, and just close this part the objects are now being deleted if i go ahead and try to do aws s3 ls followed by the bucket name I will not be able to see any part okay so just copy the bucket name vizlabs demo 987 cool so there is no object inside and if you want to delete the bucket itself you can simply do aws s3 rb followed by bucket name so bucket name okay okay you cannot simply type the bucket name uh, the command to delete the bucket is aws s3 rb followed by s3 colon colon and then the bucket name so the bucket should now be should now be deleted and if i see here go ahead and click on the bucket list of buckets there is no bucket that i should see okay the buckets are deleted i hope you have enjoyed this demo and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. And next part is to go ahead and sign out this account and simply close the remaining tabs. And after you complete that part, you can go ahead and destroy your sandbox environment. So just acknowledge this part and copy the destroy as a text and click on destroy sandbox environment. So in this uh, lab video, we have understood how to access the VizLab sandbox environment, how to start the cloud shell, uh, how to create a file, create an object, and then use the console to work with the objects, delete them, enable the versioning using CLI, and now then the delete the object followed by the bucket, and then destroy the sandbox environment. I, have, I hope you'll have liked this video. Thank you so much. Witz Labs, success certified.